Hi, my name is Gord Baker from Algonquin Outfitters and today we're here in beautiful Oxtongue Lake and I'm going to show you how to set up a simple, effective tarp shelter. The tarp is an essential part of your shelter system at camp. It provides shelter for living outdoors, cooking, eating, getting out of the sun, or just hanging out watching a storm roll by. Tarps are lightweight, easy to set up, and can be as basic as the old cheap blue tarp or an exotic catenary cut structure. Today we are setting up a lightweight but simple rectangular tarp made of ripstop nylon. Site selection is key to a successful tarp. First thing you have to do is figure out where the trees are in relation to where you want the tarp to be. Most people use the tarp as a kitchen shelter or somewhere in the kitchen area of camp. Today we're setting it up over this handy picnic table. You might want to think about drainage if the weather's bad and raining. You might want to think about the view. First step is to set up a ridge line. There are many different ways to put up a tarp. I like the ridge line because it's simple, easy, and makes for a really bomb-proof tarp setup. Set it up as high as you can on each of your two trees. Tie it tight to the trucker's hitch. Throw the tarp over the top. Tie the ends off first. Then do your corners and then just adjust as you need to. So this tarp would work really well as a sunshade, but if it was raining, we'd probably find we'd get some water pooling in places like that. So I'm going to use this paddle just to get the elevation up a bit and prevent that from happening. If you don't have a paddle and a picnic table, you could always use a stick or even tie a string to the extra little grommet that's on the top of this tarp. There's many other options. You can hang a tarp from the middle, like a big pyramid. You can use poles, canoe paddles. You can use a canoe to make a shelter in the back. All kinds of ways to set up a tarp. Here's a very simple finished tarp. A well set up tarp can make all the difference between being warm and dry and comfortable or cold, wet and miserable and it's an essential piece of equipment on any wilderness canoe trip.